Good morning, guys. How are you? I thought I'd read you a book today. It's called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? So we're going to read this one today in our kindness for kids, and I wanted to share it just in case anybody misses us. Here we go. Felix was putting one of the last blocks in his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I'll be very careful. Go away and play with your baby toys, Anna. Felix, she's drawn a little sad face of Felix. Thwack. Uh-oh. Grandpa! Grandpa just shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad, but when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandpa was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. Do you guys have a bucket floating above your head? When Felix came downstairs to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got this meeting this morning. It's time to go. Anna, sit still. Can you see Felix back there? Felix slipped and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drops spill out. Drip, drip, drip. Ha, 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 Anna laughed as she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip, drip, drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, shouted Mom. With the school bus honking, Felix quickly slipped up the, swept up the cocoa beets and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it, said the big kid on the bus. Here's walking at school. It says, Psst, Felix. Psst. So they're whispering about it. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. And Felix is having a rough day. It was still morning, and Felix's bucket felt almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into a seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumplenickel walked up slowly to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. It said, Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop, drop, plop, pink drop. The gigantosaurus who wanted a pet by me, Felix. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right parts and oohed at the scary parts. And when Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped. Even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop, drop. It says team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, those are nice colors, Felix. You guys ever look at art that way? <laughs> cool laser ant backpack, Felix. By the afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket, too. Drop, drop. Here, let me help you. Drop. Here's your baseball. Catch. Thanks, dude. Drop. Hey, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was, was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix bursts in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. And then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, Dogs may have invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, Felix said. Mom will fix her. Look, Anna's crying. 
Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world of my blocks? It's being kind to a sister. And so they did. And look, both their buckets are full. So there we go. Have you, how full is your bucket? And it's written by Tom Rath and Mary Reichmeyer. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.